Hello again everyone, and welcome back to Linode. In today's video, we'll take a look at the entire process of setting up TLS SSL certificates on our Linode via Let's Encrypt's CertBot tool. So let's go ahead and dive right in. For the purposes of this walkthrough, I've created this Linode right here. On my end, I actually used the Linode Marketplace to set this up. If you didn't already know, the Marketplace is a great way to get an instance up and running fast. There's all kinds of apps available in the Marketplace that'll automatically be set up for you when you create an instance, so definitely check it out. So for this example, I've actually registered the learnlinux.cloud domain name, and I've applied it to my account. And that's prerequisite. You want to go ahead and register a domain name if you haven't already done that. Add that in your Linode dashboard and then create an A record pointing to the Linode that is hosting your app. You also want to make sure that DNS has fully propagated and then you can go ahead and continue. As for me, all of those boxes are checked so we should be good to go. Now what you want to do is go ahead and connect to your Linode via SSH. You can use the Lish console if you'd like, but SSH is a better way to go. I've already connected to mine via SSH as you see here, and have a prompt available that I can use to enter all the commands that I will need to run in order to set this up. Now as you can see here, I am running Debian 10 on this instance, and that's what I'm going to be using for this walkthrough. If your Linode uses a different distribution than the one that mine uses, then you might have to adjust these commands a bit, but overall the process is basically the same. Now we'll need to install some packages to get this set up, but before we do that, we do want to make sure that all of the packages on the Linode are completely up to date. So to do that we will run apt update, and that's going to synchronize the package repository index. Should happen pretty quick, it's already done. And then we can run apt dist upgrade just like that. That'll update all the packages on the Linode. Now I don't have any packages that are available to be updated on my end, but basically just make sure that everything is up to date. With that out of the way, we can go ahead and install the packages that are required to set up CertBot, which is the utility that is going to facilitate the SSL certificate for our server. So we will run apt, install, and then we need CertBot, and then also Python, CertBot, Apache. Now this command is going to be different from one distribution to another because each distribution has their own package manager. So for example, if you are using something like CentOS, then you will not have the apt command available. You might have to adjust the commands a bit. Also, I am actually using the Apache version right here, as you can see from the name of the Python package. And if you are on Debian and you're using Nginx instead of Apache, then it's just a matter of changing this right here to Nginx. So that's pretty simple. But I'm going to leave mine with Apache because that's what the server is actually using. So I'll press enter to install these packages. And there's going to be quite a few dependencies here and that's okay. I'll press enter to accept the default, get these installed. And there we go. And now we have the CertBot utility available. So we should be good to go to move on. So next what we're going to do is run the CertBot command then dash dash Apache. If you are using Nginx, then you'll want to change this option accordingly. Then we're going to do dash D and then type the domain that we actually want to use with our certificate. On my end, I've set up this domain right here, blog.learnlinux.cloud. So you'll just change this on your end to whatever your domain happens to be. And then you press enter. And here you go ahead and put in the email address that is associated with your domain or the email address of whoever is responsible for that domain. I'm just going to use a sample email address on my end, but you'll definitely want to make sure that you put a real email address here. We'll agree to the terms of service, so capital A and then enter. It's asking if you would be willing to share your email address with the EFF and they give you a little bit of information here as to why you might want to do that. I'm going to say no because the email address that I'm using isn't even a real one anyway. So it's all good to go. But we have one important question that we need to answer before we are completely done. It's basically asking us if we want to redirect HTTP traffic to HTTPS. 
And actually, I think that you should do that. Unless you have a very good reason not to, it's pretty important to use secure traffic anytime you can. So we may as well redirect non-secure traffic to secure traffic. So I'll just use two for that and press enter. And we should be good to go. That's actually all there is to it. Now let's go ahead and check out the site and see what happens. So again, here's my blog and I'm going to refresh this page. And we can see the green padlock here, which shows us that this process has been a complete success. Now from this point forward, your Linode will attempt to renew the certificate automatically. If you want to go ahead and test that, I'll show you the command that will allow you to do that. It's simply certbot renew. That's the command that you would actually use if you wanted to renew the SSL certificate. You should never need to do this yourself, but you can do this if you need to force it through. But it happens automatically anyway, so you shouldn't have to do that. But we can do a dry run just like that. I'll press enter. And basically it's showing that the process does work. It's not due for a renewal right now. I mean, we've just obtained the certificate today. But if you ever wanted to test the process of renewing the certificate, well, that's how you do it. So there you go. At this point, you should have a TLS SSL certificate installed on your Linode. And I hope that was helpful. So if you haven't already done so, make sure you click that like button and definitely subscribe because there's more content coming very soon. Thanks for watching.